Hey everyone, uh, we have some launch sales, some actual sales data for Super Mario 3D All-Stars and the Nintendo Switch, along with other games like Ring Fit Adventure, Animal Crossing, and whatever. We have a whole bunch of sales updates from Japan. But before we get into it, I need to remind you that we are giving away a PlayStation 5 an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. We're also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. If you would like to enter for those giveaways, obviously drop likes, hit the comment section, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Additional ways to enter down in the description. Check it out uh, so you make sure you maximize your winning potential. All right, let's get into this. So, Fimitsu comes out every week, around this time every week. Uh, and... It's an interesting look at the exact sales numbers in Japan. Now, there's obviously notes at times that like certain companies might not share their, their digital sales data and all that. But this is a look typically at physical sales in Japan. And the top 10 this week is no surprise in, you know, it, it's nine Switch games. But the big one is obviously the debut of Super Mario 3D All-Stars on this list for launch sales. So... It obviously debuted at number one, as you're seeing right here, New Super Mario 3D's All-Stars, with 210,136 units. This is actually a pretty decent debut. Now, what the legs are going to be like on this game, I don't know, but that is a pretty decent debut. Obviously, it's it's less than the 500,000 that I kind of tossed out there as a prediction, but I didn't really think it was going to hit 500,000. Uh, but 210,136 is a pretty decent debut. It, it's a higher debut than many other Switch games. Not, you know, Animal Crossing numbers or anything, but uh, it is pretty high. At number two, uh, dropping from number one, is Ring Fit Adventure with 48,000. That thing's at 1.5 million, man. That that game just keeps going and going and going. Is it going to pass We Fit You eventually? I don't know if it'll ever get to We Fit numbers, but that's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, at number three, holding steady is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Another 30,000 added to that total, crossing 5.7 million. Uh, at number four, we have PlayStation 4's eFootball winning 11 2021 season update, a new release this week for 26,215. Uh, at number five, we have Pro Baseball Famista 2020 from Bandai Namco, debuting with 15,129 units. Uh, a note about that game is it's actually um, the last version of it that released on Switch uh, debuted at twice the amount of units. So the interest level in that series is obviously going down, despite there being more Switches on the market. Uh, at number six, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was number three the week prior, so a bit of a drop here, even though it saw a 7% bump in sales to 13094 uh, We all know that's about to cross 3.5. 2 million here in a couple weeks. Uh, Clubhouse Games is still holding steady in the top 10 at number 7. Uh, it basically had identical sales to the week before at 9,572. Uh, should be at 400,000 or so after next week. Uh, we had a new game debuted at number 8 at Azure Lane Crosswave by Compile Heart at 7,413 units on Switch. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield still in the top 10 at number 9 uh, with 6,887 units sold. We'll see you know, if that can cross 3.8 million eventually here. Uh, and then we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at number 10. Uh, 7% drop to 6,288, but that is at 3.8 million, uh, where Sword and Shield is attempting to get at as well. Now, when you go to the hardware look, in, look at this, uh, that's where things are pretty interesting. So the Nintendo Switch was at 110,029 units, 83,920 last week. So that's about a 30,000 or so, 27,000 to be more exact, uh, unit bump over the week prior. That is obviously due to the release of Super Mario 3D All-Stars pushing some units. Now, people are going to look at those last year numbers and go, but what the hell? It's all 240 last year. Like, this is garbage. 240 last year there was launch week of Switch Lite and Link's Awakening. So there was a combination of a new game and a new system in those numbers. So that's, you know, kind of step off a bit. You know, you launch new hardware and, and a new game at the same time. Like, they watch launch Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but also Switch Pro at the same time, you know those sales numbers would be extremely high. So, okay, like, it's higher than last week, and they're significantly higher than last year. They're at 3.883 million this year versus the 2.3 million last year. I think this fiscal quarter, they're at, like, 1.3 million in sales uh, in Japan, which is insane. So uh, that's a lot of units. Uh, 15 million, 266 units. Uh, the, it, it's still a little bit off the 3DS pace, but people are thinking by the time Monster Hunter Rise comes out next year that Nintendo will have closed the 3DS pace gap because it's growing 
right now at a more rapid rate than 3DS was at the same point in its life. Uh, so 3DS actually saw a huge bump this week compared to last week. 849 units last week, up to 5,272. I don't know if there was a new game that came out because it didn't crack the top 10, uh, but something happened to bump those sales. I'm not sure what. Um, well, they don't make 3DSs anymore, so as soon as the 3DSs are off store shelves, there won't be any sales. Uh, PlayStation 4 uh, is at 1,800 and one units. Again, it's pretty much dead at this point. Everyone's waiting on PlayStation 5. Uh, so it's not going to get up to the 10 million. In fact, people think uh, PlayStation 3 is likely going to have more lifetime to date sales uh, overall than PlayStation 4 now that PS4 sales are dropping off. Uh, Xbox One, I mean, <laughs> it's over 100,000, so give it that. <laughs> uh, for like lifetime total, anyways. Uh, we know that uh, 32,183 units of the Switch Lite sold last week compared to 77,846 of the normal Switch. Um, so there you go. That's a thing. It is what it is. As, as you can see, the Switch Lite had 177,000 during its launch. So that, that's pretty cool to, to kind of look back and reminisce on those numbers. But yeah, those are the sales. And, uh, you know, the interesting thing about looking at Japanese sales is that we actually get sales numbers. Like the MPD doesn't give us exact numbers anymore. We can extrapolate and figure out the exact numbers because they always do comparisons like percentage higher than this that was percentage higher than that that was percentage higher than that that was percentage higher than this back when we used to give numbers. So like we still figure out the numbers or get, get a close approximation, but we never really know. Um, and I'm curious about 3D All-Stars because we talked a lot about the sales exploding. We talked about it being sold out. We talked about this, talked about that. But no, typically when the sales are extremely impressive, Nintendo puts out a press release and says, do launch sales set records or launch sales were higher than, than this other big game, right? But Nintendo didn't do that. So are the sales for New, New Super Mario 3D All-Stars not actually as high as we think? Like, is it selling more like, let me put it this way. Is it selling more like Paper Mario or more like um, Mario Party than it is, say, I don't know. Like, 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 what's a, what's the next ring up from that? I, I'm trying to even think. Like, Xenoblade's obviously less than that. Or, or I mean, heck, is it selling Xenoblade numbers? Do do, do we go down to like 1.5 mil? Like, how popular is Super Mario 3D All Stars? It's easy for me to be like, it must be extremely popular. Look at all my videos on it. Every time I talk about 3D All Stars, I get a lot of views. But does that mean the game is actually selling that well? I don't know. I hope it is. This is a good debut in Japan. We we have to see what week two looks like to see if there's a huge drop off. But um, I I am very curious to see what the actual sales data is going to say worldwide, and that Nintendo hasn't said anything yet. I'm 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 presuming that it's doing like Mario Party numbers. It's getting five six million, but we'll see. You know, Nintendo will also do a financial update and give us real numbers eventually, even if they don't announce anything. But uh. I mean, it has a, no, a lot of number one debuts. It debuted number one in the UK as well. Uh, we know that. Number one in France. So it's debuted number one in a lot of places. And I expect it to be number one on the MPD for this month. Uh, so it's it has a good debut. I, I just, I'm very curious. What I, I love data. I'm kind of a data junkie. I like, um, you know, tech and cutting edge tech. And, and, and I'm a big tech guy. Big, big gaming enthusiast. But I love numbers, man. I love talking sales data. So we have exact sales data from Japan. The sales data looks solid, looks good. Uh, not as good as the best of the best, but still really, really good and a lot better than a lot of other games that debuted. I mean, look at just this week, you know, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There were four other games that, that debuted this week in the top 10, and, like, nothing comes close to Mario 3D All-Stars. So you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Uh, do you like these weekly uh, sales updates from Japan? Let me know, and I'll keep doing them. You guys uh, have a good day.